In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a fashion slash outfit planning database that makes organizing your wardrobe 10 times easier. So this is the database that I'm going to be showing you how to build in this video. So essentially what you would do is each item that you have in your wardrobe, you could add here as a card. So you can give it a description. You can add a photo if you like. You can give it some tags. You can state what type of item it is. This is a little bit extra, but if you want, you can also check if it's currently available. So it's not in the laundry. And here you can say what that item goes with so you can actually relate each piece in your wardrobe to a different piece in your wardrobe so you can easily just see this is my black polo and these are all the different things in my wardrobe that it goes with so it makes outfit planning really really easy I've also set up a couple of specific views so you can just see for example all of your tops or of your dresses or whatever so that is the database that we're going to be building today and in the rest of the video I'm going to be showing you how you can build this completely from scratch so I'm starting off with a brand new blank page. I've just named this fashion, just picked an icon and added a cover photo, but that's all we're doing to begin with. So the first thing we want to do is actually add a brand new database. So I'm just gonna type in forward slash database and we're gonna select the database inline option and that's gonna add a database onto the page. You can just call this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it fashion and we're also just gonna hide this title. So if you click on the three dots here, you can actually just hide the title. I think that looks a little bit cleaner. So let's start by adding in a few items into the database that we have in our wardrobe. So for example, I could put black polo, black chinos, etc. So I am gonna add the color of the item as part of the name, but if you wanted to actually add a separate property like this one where you can add a tag for the color, you can do that as well. You can also do the same for the brand, but for now I'm just gonna use that as part of the name, but it's completely up to you let's just make that a little bit smaller and in this tags property we're going to add some tags to each of the items so the tag could relate to when or where you're going to wear the item so I'm just going to click on tags and click edit property and we're going to select add an option so some common tags you might want is every day for everyday wear items work gym home and if there are any other that you can think of feel free to add them in here you can also change the color of these so if you want to make gym green for example let's just make them all a different color so these are the tags that i've decided on so now if we come here i can click next to our black polo and select some tags you can add as many of these as you want i think for this one let's just put every day and home and so on i'm just going to select some for each so by adding these tags it's going to make it easy for us later when you've got loads of items in this database you can simply just use the search here here. so you could just type in work and it's just going to bring up any items that have a tag of work so it makes it really easy to find the items that you're looking for we're going to add another multi-select property like this one for the type of item so i'm going to click here on this button and we're going to add this multi-select here and let's just call this one type and again I'm going to add some options so the different options are going to be the different types of items that you'll have in your wardrobe so as an example you might have a dress you might have skirts shorts you could also do top or if you want to be a little bit more specific you could put long sleeved top and short sleeved let's do trousers or pants or whatever you call them in America and I think that's fine so again feel free to just change the colors if you want so these are the options that we're going with for now and again you can just click on here and select the item so this one's a black polo so that's probably a short sleeve top and so on just before we jump back to the tutorial I want to let you know about my second brain template this powerful productivity system is the best way to organize your tasks notes projects and goals and is based on productivity methods that actually work hundreds of people have already purchased the template and are now more productive than ever it also has tons of five star reviews from people that have used it i'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested that's all back to the tutorial next i want to set up the system where you can select which items each item goes with so we're actually going to use a relation property to do that so we're going to click here on this plus symbol and i'm going to type in relation and select this relation property now if you've used relation properties before you've probably related them to other databases but you can actually relate back to the same database so I'm actually just going to select the fashion database, which is this database here. And you want to leave these as they are. And you do want to switch on this separate directions here. And what that is going to do is it's going to create a separate property for each direction of the relation. Now that might sound confusing, but I'm going to show you what that means. So let's just turn that on for now and click add relation. So what that's done is it's added two new columns. And the reason it's added two is because we switched on that separate directions. And essentially what it does, if I click on here next to the black polo, it's going to bring up all of the items in the database so I can select what our black 
polo goes with. So let's say it goes with our black chino. So I'm going to select the black chinos and that's going to appear here in the box. And then you'll see that is now being related back to the chino. So it's relating it both ways. So I only have to select this relation once. I've said that the black polo goes with the black chinos. So if I look on black chinos, it's also going to tell me there that that goes with the black polo. So it's essentially just saving me a step of having to relate each one back. So I'm just going to change the name of these. So instead of a related fashion, let's just call it goes with. And on this one, let's just call it goes with two like that. And let's just select some more items that go with other items. The next step is completely optional, but I'm going to add a checkbox for whether or not the item is available. So i.e. it's washed and it's not in the laundry, but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. So we're going to click on here to add another property and I'm going to do a checkbox and I'm just going to call this one available with a question mark like that. And that's all we need to do. So now we have this checkbox here and we can check if the item is available or not. And we just need to add one more property that is gonna be added onto our cards. And it's just gonna be a piece of text that says goes with so that on the cards that I showed you at the beginning, it says the words goes with and underneath it's gonna actually show the items that that item goes with. So you do need to add that onto each card for it to display. So what we're gonna do is add another property here and this one is just gonna be a text property. And let's just call this one goes with text and that's all we're going to do. Then in the first box, I'm just going to type the words goes with and a colon like this. And let's make this look a little bit nicer. I'm actually just going to highlight it. And I quite like marking it as code just because it gives it this nice gray background. Let's also just make the text bold. And I'm also going to change the text to black as well. So if I actually just click on the default there, it's going to change the text to black. So that's what it looks like. And I'm also just going to drag that down into all of the boxes here so that it displays on every single one. Don't worry, you won't have to add this every single time. I'm going to show you how we can automate this in just a second. And I also want to add an icon for each of the items. So what I'm going to do is just highlight all of the rows in the database and click on the six dots here next to it. And we're going to click edit icon. You can pick an emoji, but I'm actually going to use Notion's icon library. And let's just go with this coat hanger icon like this. Now I also want to add this icon as default so that when I add something new to the database, I don't have to manually add it every single time time. So what we're going to do is click on this little downward arrow here and we're going to add a new template. Now I'm just going to leave the name blank because obviously that's going to be the name of the item. So I'll fill that in once I've created the item, but we are going to add the icon. So if you just click on here and again, just click on icons and select the exact same icon. The other thing we're going to do is this goes with text. I don't want to have to manually add that in every time. So I'm just going to paste in the exact same thing that we added on the database and that's going to automatically be added for us. All of the other things I'm going to leave blank because obviously that's going to depend on the item and let's just click back onto our database again just click on this down arrow and here is the template that we've just set up so i'm just going to click here on these three dots and we're going to set that as default and we're going to set that as default for all views in our fashion database so what that's going to do is let me just scroll across if i click on this plus new button to add something new I'll give it a name and when I hit enter, it's going to add that icon for us automatically. And as you can see over here, the goes with text is also there as well. And then all of the other properties I can just manually fill out depending on the item. So that is all of the properties that we need in this database. So now we're going to start making this just look a little bit nicer. So the first thing we're going to do is switch it from a table to a gallery view. So to do that, we're going to click on these three dots here and select layout. And the one we're going to select is gallery. So that will make it show up like this with the cards. Now these are quite big. I actually think it would be better with smaller cards just because you're going to have a lot of items in your wardrobe. So let's click on card size and change it to small so that we can see more at once. Next, I want to see some of the properties that we've added on the card. So to do that, we're going to click again on the three dots and select properties. So here are all the properties that we added into that table. So if you click on this little button here, it's going to add that onto the card. So the first one we're going to add is the tags property. So I'm going to unhide that. And as you can see, it now displays on the cards. Then let's add the type. Then I'm going to add the available checkbox. Then we're going to add the goes with text. And then underneath, we're going to add both of these goes with relation properties so that they both display next to each other or underneath each other like this. So as you can see, by adding the text here, it then looks like it's a little heading and these just appear underneath. Now you can also add a photo onto here for each of the items. That's completely optional. So if you don't want to add a photo, I'll just show you how you can remove this blank space. So just click on the three dots, select layout, and you just want to click on card preview and set it to none like this. But in this case, I think I am going to add a photo. So I'm just going to keep it as page content. 
So with the photo, it's completely up to you. You can either take a photo of the item yourself or you could just grab the photo from the actual brand that you've bought it from. So just as an example, I'm gonna add one for the black polo. So to add the photo, we're just gonna click on the card like this and that's gonna take us to the dedicated page. And then down here on the page, you can just add in the photo. So to do that, I'm just gonna type in forward slash image and select this image block here. And you can either upload a photo. If it is a photo that you found on the website of the brand, you can actually just paste in the link and it will grab the photo for you. But in this case, I'm just gonna upload a photo. So I'm just gonna click upload file and just grab the image. And that's just gonna be uploaded like this. And if we click back, as you can see, it's gonna be displayed on the card. Now you can reposition it. If you click on reposition, you can pull it down like this. If you want it a little bit smaller as well, you can click on here, select the layout, and we're actually gonna select this fit image toggle. And that's just gonna make it a little bit smaller so it shows the entire image. So I'm just gonna add a photo for each of these as well. So this is what that looks like with all of the images. Now, the final thing we're gonna do is just add some different tabs for the different types of clothing. So I'm firstly just gonna click on this one and select rename and I'm just gonna rename this all because it displays all of the clothes within our wardrobe. We're then gonna add some different tabs for each of the different types. So for example, you might want a tab for just all of your tops, you might want one for all of your bottoms and so on. So what we're gonna do is click on here and we're actually just gonna duplicate this tab so it shows up exactly Exactly the same and let's start by adding one for all of your tops so I'm just gonna name this one tops and you can also pick a different icon if you want as well let's just select this t-shirt icon like this so all we're gonna do is simply just add a filter so that it only displays anything that is a top so you want to click on this little filter icon here and we're gonna select the type because that's where we selected what type of item it is and I'm just gonna select any that are top so in this case I've just got the short sleeved and the long sleeved top and nothing else is a top so I'm gonna filter just for these items and as you can see all of the other items have disappeared and we're left with just the tops so you can do the exact same thing I'm going to click on here and duplicate this tab let's go with bottoms this time and again I'm just going to change the icon instead let's go with some trousers and I'm just going to click on the filter and change it so instead of the short sleeve tops we're going to click on anything that is a bottom so we're going to go with trousers skirts and shorts and I'm just gonna create one more for dresses. So you can create as many of these tabs as you want. You might want to create some that are just for work or just for gym, or you might want to have just short sleeve tops or anything like that. It's completely up to you. I think for now, I'm just gonna keep it as these three, but feel free to add as many different tabs with different filters as you like. And that is it. That is the fashion database complete. Whenever you want to add a new item, you can either click on this little plus new button here, or you can click on the new here. And if I click that, as you can see, it'll just bring up this page so I can add in a new item. Item and just fill out all of the details. Remember, you can just click on the goes with here to select what this item goes with, and then that will show up under goes with two on the opposite item. And that's it, that is the fashion database all set up. If you want to be even more productive, then make sure you check out my second brain template, which is an advanced productivity system. It has tons of five star reviews from people that have used it. You can grab this template over on my store, I'll leave a link in the description box below.